Naomi Bennett with the Learn Astrology Now and this is the second quarter forecast for 2012 and believe it or not the best part of this year is over it was the first quarter where we had uh, the most positive aspects I'm sorry but we're starting to go into a degrading period of time and just the beginning of the most difficult aspects that will occur in July which is the third quarter but we will be covering now April, May, and June. So let's um, go and get with it be, because we are going to have another difficult economic time period. We're already seeing now in this April a lot more police action or police in the news just this week. In Austin we had a police officer that was shot in action and they spent the entire week in the news reporting his funeral and broadcasting etc so you're going to see a lot more police reports a lot more death by gunshot uh, military action is strong so we may see a heating up of um, the Israel and um, Iran and Syria problems right now and more police action regarding uh, the Occupy Wall Street function which is now going to start getting in full mode this spring. I wanted to mention as a little insert because I forgot to put it in the primary part of this is that the FBI is in the news because as they did the um, forward um, planning for Obama's visit to South America is that there's now a sex scandal with prostitutes with the FBI so there's an example of military police action in the news and Mars happens to rule sex also so I wanted to add that into uh, this little case. So this is just the beginning of that although we will probably see the most intense period of that time uh, even though it lasts all of uh, April into part of May the most intense period will be uh, April the 21st through May the 8th which is where we're most likely to see that. And it involves uh, Obama's chart, also the U.S. chart, Bernanke and the Federal Reserve. So just expect more during this time period. And pay attention that next week we do have a Sun Square um, Saturn aspect. I suspect we'll see some disappointing news some more um, news about uh, legal actions because this is the, the end when Saturn leaves uh, Libra and goes into its next sign which is Scorpio so if there's going to be any more fair or justice laws they're likely uh, those announcements are likely to occur this month because it's all going to change that effect and the markets may be down slightly this week they were very erratic last week and we did talk about in our yearly forecast that's starting this quarter that we're going to see a lot more sideways and volatile up and down action until we start having more of a panic period in June and July. So this is a good time to be lightening up and going short on the market and certainly protecting your assets because I don't see the economic time period improving what I think is that we probably have the Federal Reserve propping up the market. You notice they never uh, publish any more the money supply because I think they're propping up the market right now. And I think it's an illusion that we're being, that's being created about how healthy the economy is. We're very fragile. Europe is fragile. Japan has, I mean, China has pulled back. China, uh, Japan hasn't recovered yet. And I think we could have another downturn right around the corner. That's very likely during this time period. Um, so we've talked a little bit about uh, the military action. I would think we would still be hearing, particularly the months of April and May, about currency manipulation or problems with currencies because Venus has gone out of bounds, which means Venus rules currency and monies in the financial industry and out of bounds means that you have a lot more erratic behavior so again I expect additional volatility but particularly in the end of May because we have an eclipse period we have the strongest solar eclipse 
of this year happening on May the 20th and it happens to be on a very uh, high tide occurrence and this eclipse the, the path of the eclipse starts in China, goes across Japan, arches up to the Pacific Ocean, and then follows down through California and ends in Texas. So what you have is an eclipse path that follows the rim of fire, which is all of the fault lines from the Japanese side to the U.S. side of the, mar uh, side of the ocean. So the probability of increased earthquakes during this time period is increased. We had a panic last week of uh, an earthquake and possible tsunami that was in uh, the Indian Ocean, not too far from the last one of uh, 2004. And we had um, an earthquake in Mexico, and I can't remember, there was, there's three that were all in the last week and I know I'm broadcasting this a little late because it is April the 15th today so I'm uh, two weeks late but just in time for the major stuff that's about to occur so this eclipse period starts the end of May and doesn't finish until June the 4th with the lunar eclipse but it's stronger than normal because <clears throat> it has Mars aligned with it and so we're going to see a lot more police action or military action. Wars can begin and end during eclipse periods. So if we're going to see an increase of tensions with Iran, it's likely to occur during this period of time. And then the hard aspects that uh, define this long period of five to seven years of um, the reform of all of our governments, of our corporations, the restriction of credit. We're going to have another exact aspect of this all during the summer from uh, June, July, and August. And so it'll be more difficult the third quarter than this quarter. So with this, I'm going to stop <clears throat> my part of the broadcast and we'll do the chart to show you exactly what we're talking about. All right, this is the chart I've drawn up for the second quarter. And you'll note the great big red bar, that is the eclipse period that I've been talking about with the solar eclipse on May the 20th and the lunar eclipse on June the 4th. This goes over the Pacific Rim, the shadow from end of China through Japan and then across California to Texas. So this will light up all of the Pacific Rim fire um, area which is where it, we have earthquake zones we could see activity but the first event is going to be the Mars opposition Saturn that's April the 14th to the 18th so we're going to see restrictions or legal actions or Supreme Court in the news and then we've already started the time period where we have much police action in the news and the FBI was just in the news this week and we've had a lot of dominance of that. Expect that to increase from April the 21st to May the 8th. But it's going to dominate the bulk of the month during this time period. But we should still ex expect that um, we're going to have currency problems. And, the F and Bernanke and the Federal Reserve are propping up our money supply. That's shown by the Venus out of bounds for all of April and May. So the more critical period, of course, is during that eclipse period when we're starting to get um, Uranus and Pluto exact and becoming involved, which will be in July. But note that we do have a Sun aspect to the Uranus-Pluto at the very end of June, on June the 29th. So that will be the beginning of the critical period for the rest of this year. With this, I'm going to sign off Naomi Bennett with LearnAstrologyNow.com. Be sure to listen to the recording that we're going to do on um, the third quarter because it's the most critical quarter of the year in July.